Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how I got my hair from like a dark blonde colour to this like bright silvery grey colour which I absolutely love. I filmed all the steps so prepare to see a lot of really unflattering shots of me with like no makeup and hair dye on. It's not going to be good. But yeah, I filmed it all the way through me doing it. I've included shots of the equipment that I use and all the links to the equipment and the hair dye will be in the doobly doo down below. Um, quick disclaimer, I'm not a hairdresser, obviously. I have been dyeing my hair on natural colours since I was 13 years old, so I'm now 20. Um, so I do have a lot of experience in that term, but I don't really have like professional training. So if I do or say something wrong, then please don't yell at me. Just leave like a comment down below letting people um, just in case like I have told you something that will most likely... Okay, I'm not saying I've, you know, done anything wrong. I mean, it's worked on my hair, but I'm just saying I'm not a hairdresser. So take everything with a pinch of salt. I'm just showing you how I personally achieved this. So yeah, disclaimer done. And now I'll jump into the video. Okay, so the first step, if you've ever dyed your hair before, is going to be to strip the dye out of your hair. It's not completely necessary to do this, and I said only if you dyed your hair before, but it's beneficial just because it means that you won't have to lift as much using bleach. Stripping it is healthier for your hair to get the colour out, so it means that you won't have to put as much bleach on or leave it on for as long. Um, so to do this, all you need to do is get a product like Colour Before, or there are other ones. They're sold in Superdrug and Boots for about 10 pounds follow the instructions rinse it out and dry your hair and then wait a week after you've stripped the color out um, before you bleach it so that's the first step as I said you don't need to do it so I thought I would only briefly show myself doing it in this really flattering clip um, but yeah if you've dyed your hair dark previously or quite a few times then definitely strip it before you bleach Okay, so here's my hair after I have stripped the colour out of it. As you can see, it's quite a lot lighter. It's more of a light blonde now. So once I bleach this, then it won't have to lift as much. So on to bleaching. If you can afford to go to the hairdresser, definitely go to the hairdresser. Do not bleach your hair yourself if you have no experience. But if you really can't afford to go to the hairdresser to do it, here's the best way to do it. So rather than buying a box dye from Superdrug or Boots or something like that, I buy professional grade like hairdressing bleach off eBay, obviously a reputable seller and like well known brands that are sealed. I'll leave a link below to, as to where you can buy this sort of thing. It's basically exactly the same as you would get in a box where you have to mix the powder and the bleach but this way it's just a bit more professional, it will do it quicker and it won't be as bad for your hair. I mean it will still be bad for your hair, you are bleaching it but it's not as bad. So professional bleach comes with a cream peroxide and a blue or um, purple powder. You're also going to need some cling film, a pot to mix it in, some hair clips, some little tinting brushes, you're definitely going to need gloves, and you'll also need some hair ties, most likely. So to mix the bleach, I took a measuring thing and I filled it with two parts of the cream peroxide and one part of the powder. You then want to put it into some sort of bowl and mix it up using one of the tinting brushes until it sort of comes together and forms a paste. So here's how you apply the bleach if you're doing it yourself. You're going to want to sit with a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you so that you can get a good view or get someone to help you out. And then you're going to want to section your hair. So I just tied it up and also clipped some bits up. I started with the roots as mine were darker and then went on to the ends later. Um, also, it's worth bearing in mind that heat helps it develop so your roots will develop quicker than the ends of your hair. Um, so I just went round all the way around my hair and did all the roots and then applied it to the lengths later on. So here I am now applying it to the lengths of my hair and as you can see the roots have already started to lift. 
So once you've applied it to all of your hair, you're just want, going to want to go back through and make sure that everything is saturated and covered because it will take it to such a like white yellow color, hopefully anyway, that it will be really obvious if you've missed any bits. Um, as you can see, my hair takes to bleach really well. I'm very lucky in that it lifts very quickly and that it doesn't damage my hair as much as it does other people, um, thank God, or I'm pretty sure I'd be bald by now. Um, if you don't know how your hair reacts to bleach, please don't bleach it yourself. Go to the hairdresser, um, do it more slowly than I've done it. Just don't chuck a load of bleach on your hair if you don't know how it's going to re react. Um, so yeah, you can see that I made quite a mess, um, but it's already lifting. Sit in a warm room and wrap it up with the cellophane because the heat's gonna help it to develop and just do it by eye. When it starts to look like a sort of yellowy inside of a banana color, then wash it off and deep condition. So here is the result after bleaching. As you can see, it's very yellowy. Um, I probably should have toned it out more before I put the gray on, which is why you can still see some yellow in the final result. However, if you get some purple shampoo and wash it and leave it on regularly before you put the gray on, you won't have that problem. Okay, so time for the silver dye. So I'm using a dye called Pravana Silver. I will leave the link to it down below where you can get it. So for my sort of short hair, I had one tube and in hindsight, I should probably have gotten two and maybe used like one and a half. Um, so hopefully that will tell you. I've got quite like short, medium length hair in this video, but it's quite thick. So basically I squeezed out a load of white conditioner and then squeezed lots of dye into it, mixed it up and just kept doing that until I got the sort of desired shade. If you put it on straight from the tube, obviously you're gonna need more dye and it's gonna be a very dark steely gray. So dilute, diluting it with conditioner just makes it more of a gray silvery color. Um, so yeah, just mix it until it's at the sort of shade that you want and you can also strand test to see what level of gray or silver you want to achieve. So to dye it, once again, I'm doing a similar thing as to what I did when I bleached it, only I'm doing the root and the length at the same time. I'm not starting with the roots, I'm just taking it all over. So I've sectioned up my hair and then I'm applying it and going all around my head. So here's the dye once it's all applied. As you can see, it's already started to take effect. I left it on, I think for about 15 minutes. It says on the packaging, but I'm pretty sure it was about 15 minutes. And then I washed it off using purple shampoo just to get rid of any more yellow that was still on there. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so that was how I got this shade of hair. I did go back in with the gray dye afterwards because I mean, as you can see, I still have like some bits of like blonde in my hair which because it's a, like a blue toned grey has made it go sort of like greenish but I'm gonna fix that I've got loads of purple shampoo so I'm gonna leave that on my hair at some point but I did go back in afterwards with a tiny bit more dye I just got the really like patchy bits um so if you do have someone to help you to make sure you don't miss any then that's great but I didn't but yeah so this is the finished result I'm really really happy with it I just need to get rid of the like few little strands of blonde um so yeah thank you for watching i hope this helped you get gray hair because it's absolutely awesome i don't know what the hands were doing then but yeah i hope this helped some of you and yeah i will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe because i'm going to be doing loads of videos on hair like when i dye it in the future because i have lots of colors planned and also how to like maintain gray hair how to like handle bleach damage hair because i've been bleaching my hair since like 15 so I've learned a lot of tricks over the years so yeah stay tuned for those kinds of videos and I'll see you in my next one